Hello, Chris Birch here. I was going to talk to you guys about uh, some of the changes, some of the improvements for the new KTM 1290 Super Adventure R. So uh, it's an all new model for KTM. Uh, can't really talk about a 160 horsepower motorbike without talking about the engine first. Uh, KTM have uh, obviously increased the power, increased the torque, and given it another 100 cc. And they've done that by uh, going to a longer stroke motor and a bigger bore. And they've also added uh, some more uh, weight to the crankshaft. So you've got a bit more sort of flywheel effect on the bike compared to the 1190, which uh, it, it makes it quite a bit smoother, a bit, bit uh, more uh, linear off the bottom, uh, more traction and uh, a little bit less rowdy than the 1190. Um, other big improvements they've made, probably the, the next big one is the, uh, is the shock. So they've gone to a, a true PDS shock now, a dual piston shock. So that gives you uh, much, much more progression through the stroke. Uh, the, the suspension, the dampening force really ramps up as you get towards the bottom of the stroke. So you get less bottoming, um, less wallowing through the travel, but still a nice, plush, smooth ride that makes it easy to uh, eat up the kilometers. Um, on the front end, on the fork, they've gone to uh, a heavier fork spring in different settings. So it's, it's not a completely new fork, basically just uh, a different, uh, they've taken another look at it and, and made it uh, more suitable for off-road riding. They've gone to stronger rims in the front, so I've been playing around the, in the desert here for nearly a thousand kilometers and I haven't done any real damage to the wheels. On the old bike, uh, the rims would have looked like 50 cent pieces by now, so the new rims are significantly stronger. Uh, what else you got? It's kind of hard to, there's so many new things. Uh, the TFT display, so it's a, a digital dash now, and it's it's pretty cool. It does everything they say it does. Uh, no glare, so obviously here in the desert we've got a lot of background light. It's the sort of thing that makes these screens hard to see normally, and no problem at all. There's been times where the light's been so bright that I can't really see my GPS, but I've been able to see the, the dashboard really clearly the whole time, so that's pretty cool. And you've got uh, connectivity now with your phone, so if you have the, the Bluetooth in your helmet as well, you can listen to music and answer your phone and see who's calling you and that sort of thing as you're riding along. And that's all controlled through the, the switches, so no need to take your hands off the bars. Um, we've got a bit more adjustability, so you've got an adjustable um, gear lever now, so you can move it back and forth for bigger and smaller feet. Uh, what else? There's a lot of things to talk about. Uh, cruise control. It kind of seems a bit dumb to start off with, but then you know, countries like New Zealand and Australia, where the uh, the speed limit's quite uh, enthusiastically enforced, it can be a good way of um, preserving your license between the fun parts. So it's a, a nice little addition. Uh, they've got the uh, the wireless key now, so the KTM Race On system, as they call it. That's actually really good um, for me. Like with adventure bike gear, there's a thousand pockets. Every time I come up for a ride, I'm like, oh, my key's here somewhere, and I can never remember where I've put it. And now it, it doesn't matter as long as it's somewhere with you in your backpack, in your gear, somewhere you're, uh, you're good to go. And uh, you don't need the key to open the fuel tank anymore, so you don't need to turn the bike completely off and uh, mess around with that. So there's, uh, yeah, I think that's kind of the, the main big things for now. And, Basically, like from a riding point of view, it's taken everything that made the 1190 really cool and, and improved on that. More power, but smoother power, more traction, more control, uh, much improvement to the suspension, so you have more confidence off-road, and all the electronics and the gadgets are all really cool and they, they work really well. So I'm looking forward to spending more time on this big girl.